welcome back to another video first of all i would like to say thank you to all our subscribers i appreciate you i love you make sure you like and subscribe this video in this video i'm going to be telling you guys about credit cap um this is a disclaimer because in the first few minutes we're going to tell you guys what products i use um and just explain in depth what it is and what to look for so without further ado let's get into the video Okay, so what really is Credit Cap? So Credit Cap is crusting in or white yellow scales on baby scalp, formerly known as cerebral dermatitis, that can travel up the baby's body or honestly anywhere if it gets out of control. And basically, um, cerebral dermatitis is a skin condition that causes scaly patches and red skin mainly on the scalp. But like I said, it can um, go as far as from their head down to their body, their neck. You know, it can just get as far as that if it gets bad, if it's not caught early. So um, a question that I've been asked is how often do I wash baby's hair? So I wash baby's hair every two to three days. And I use the the Frida Baby method. And I'm going to later show you what the Frida Baby method is in the video. But I basically wash her hair um every couple of days and i kind of go through her hair look for those patches that i talked talked about before and if i see like one of those flare-ups then i will do this method i'm going to show you later in the video um because you will usually just do like a wash like you know wash condition shampoo condition and then um you know put oil in the baby hair but when they have credit cap you kind of have to really get down in there and and you know get that out so um that's what i'm gonna show you guys how to do so another question that i've been asked is how do you get rid of it so basically how do you get rid of it is to make sure you check the baby's hair every single day it's important for you to check um and look for it just so you can hurry up and get it out um another thing is to use the baby Frida method that I'm going to the Frida baby. I don't know why I keep saying baby Frida. The Frida baby method that I'm going to show you is important for you to use that method because that method is this method that I'm going to show you is going to get it get it out your baby head and it's going to hey baby hair is going to thrive. I'm telling you you got to use this method. It's going to work. Um, and then to make sure that you always grease your baby head because in um, in my experience honestly. Um, it's like for us, it's danger for them is create a cap. So for us to get rid of our dandruff, we have to wash and grease our hair to make sure our hair is greased because dandruff is just, you know, dry scalp. So that's that's how you get rid of it. And to catch it early, that's super important. So um, I'm going to go in to tell you the products that I use. The products that I use is the Frida Baby 3-Step Create a Cap Method. Keep saying that. Um, use that. And then the oils that I use is olive oil and coconut oil. Um, I steer more towards the extra virgin um, olive oil. I just seem to, well, her hair seems to take more to that. So um, if your baby hair takes better to the coconut oil, feel free to use that. I kind of I alternate it, but I steer more towards the olive oil. Both are super good. Um, far as the shampoo and conditioner, I use the Baby's Dove shampoo and conditioner for uh, texture hair. They just came out with that. That's super, super amazing. The conditioner is awesome. Uh, when you put the conditioner on and then rinse it out, it literally has baby's hair like super hydrated. So um, that's, it's great. It's honestly really, really great. And it doesn't have all of those um, crazy chemicals that every you know, every other brand has is, is great. It doesn't leave the baby's hair dry. And that's the key not to have dry hair. And then another quick tip tip, just to make sure you guys only use, um, either a comb or this, this tool that I'm going to show you, because I've definitely seen people use, um, two picks and bobby pins and things like that, which Hey, you might be like, hey, why would somebody use that? But hey, I've seen it. It's, I've literally seen it on YouTube. So just try to steer clear of those because those can be very dangerous to use, especially when your baby is little. Their head is super soft. So just don't use it. And you wouldn't use a 
too picky in your head. So don't use that in baby hair. Like it's it's not going to use. It's just not going to work. Just don't use it. But like I said, this method that I'm going to show you is literally going to save baby's hair. Like use this to make sure you get it out and to stop the crater cap. Let's do this. Let me let me show you how to do this. Come on, let's get into it. Sick of talk about it. Let's let's just let's just see. Let's just see. Okay, so I am parting baby's hair to see where exactly I see those dry spots at. Um, I have been, you know, washing the crater cap out of her hair so far, so it's not as bad as it was. But there are certain areas, I don't know if you can see that really good, but there's certain areas where it's still like dry spots right there. So I'm just parting just to see like, okay, I need to get that area focused on that spot or whatever. So just make sure you part the hair um, so you know what, you know, Okay, I need to be in this area because it's a lot right here and stuff like that. So make sure you part in their hair. So now it's important for you to make sure that you are doing this um, on a well-saturated head. So you got to make sure you wet their hair really, really good. Do not do this dry because if you do this dry, you're going to risk pulling out baby's hair. You don't want to pull out baby's hair. <laughs> Y'all gonna get tired of me saying that, but we're trying to save baby's hair. So, um, make sure you're wetting their hair really, really good. And then, of course, if you're washing the shampoo, you gotta wet their hair anyway. So, just... okay, so I'm using the Dove Texture Hair Shampoo. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna put that on baby's head. Um, I'm pretty heavy-handed when it comes to shampoo and conditioner. Please, you don't have to use as much as I use. I'm just very heavy-handed. I'm not... I feel like if I'm not using enough, it ain't, it's not clean, but that's just me. Um, and then when you're washing the baby here, as I'm washing it, make sure you have your hand under the baby's neck so you're supporting the baby's um, head. So I'm lathering that up nice and good, getting that all in there. And then I'm going to show you the comb. This is the comb. So right now, I just showed you the side with like the small little, little, I don't know what you call it, little bristles. Yeah, that's what you call it, little bristles. So the the comb is actually has like a curve to it, so it fits the head perfectly. So what I'm a, what I'm doing is I'm taking that that brush comb, whatever you want to call it, and I'm going in a circular motion, just breaking up those dry patches that create a cap, making sure I get it nice you know nice and broken up that's the key once you're done with that you're going to rinse baby's hair out and then you're going to go right in with that conditioner and then if you still see those parts in her hair you can still even though you put the conditioner in, you can still go in and use that brush to get the rest out when you once you look at that brush you can start to see the crater cap starting to lift but i guarantee you um, if you keep doing this method, it's going to work and the crater cap is going to lessen and lessen every time that you wash baby's hair. So make sure you get that conditioner nice in there. Lather that in. You see right now I'm kind of just working it in, making sure, um, I get those curls nice and popping, um, and give her a little massage, shaping baby's head. She was getting kind of fussy, so I kind of threw her in the tub so I could just get the rest out and kind of calm her down a little bit. Because <laughs> she was like, you need to uh, hurry up and be done with this because I'm over it. So I took her out of the tub, and right now I'm just using that extra virgin olive oil, just locking in that moisture, making sure I grease her hair really, really well so I can stop that credit cap from coming back. And honestly, this is it, guys. So I really hope this helped you guys. I hope this was very informative. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and let me know if this helped you guys and got rid of that credit cap.